Uta is certainly Tokyo Ghoul's fan favorite character. He's one of the most enigmatic characters too, with several unspoken motives to do something and to be involved in Kaneki. He has different human concepts than other ghouls do, which makes him unique and distinctive. He also has certain skills that nobody else has and nobody seems to be able to describe. Nonetheless, all these aspects just make him an even more fascinating character to watch on the show and add depth to his personality. Here are 10 things that everybody needs to know about Uta. Ten. The name Uta in Japanese is translated as poem or song. Character names can tell a lot about who they are and what audiences can expect from them a lot of the time. The name of Uta may be slightly ironic, considering that he's a ghoul. But he is also an artist, so it may be that getting a name that represents his more creative tendencies will tell people more about that aspect of him. 9. The Tokyo Ghoul manga was created by mangaka Suyashita. He said he gave Uta many hobbies of his own, such as an interest in creating music, sculpture, and masks. This certainly demonstrates the care that Ishida put into this character, making sure that outside of being a ghoul, he's well-rounded and has interests. Plus, in Uta, Ishida clearly sees himself, which also offers us some insight into the writer. 8. The majority of ghouls assume that human food looks pretty disgusting, that it's basically just a mysterious slop thrown on a plate. In this situation, Uda doesn't agree with his ghoulish pals. He is of the opinion that human food is a kind of art. Uda is aesthetically and visually appealing with the way people arrange it before eating it, and all the various colors that come together as different ingredients work together to form one dish. 7. Uta has a peculiar sense of humor, which, because he's a ghoul, makes sense. Much of his jokes will be gallows humor, it would be safe to say, since too much of becoming a ghoul revolves around human eating or cannibalism actions. In reality, however, much of his humor seems to be about wordplay and misrepresenting stuff, or just being ridiculous. That doesn't seem to match what he looks like or the fact that he's a ghoul. 6. The number 19 is synonymous with Uta, which is also a reference in a tarot deck to the Sun card. It's a very good card to be associated with as a ghoul. It has a lot to do with positivity and being positive. Even reversed, it's all about accepting or being excessively optimistic with one's inner kid. Before really getting to know something more about him, this association tells viewers a lot about Uta as a character. 5. Since they are a food source for ghouls, most ghouls don't really spend a lot of time socializing with humans. If every ghoul is nice with at least one person, it would be hard to feed, so they avoid this for the most part. This way, Uta doesn't feel. He likes and considers human beings fascinating. He likes to spend time with them, almost looking at them like a strange case study and wanting to know more about them. 4. Tsugumi Yamagata is an old human woman considered by Uta to be a friend. She's a mask maker too, and her clientele is mainly ghouls. While she and Uta are friendly, Tsugumi doesn't think of Uta's artistic taste very much. She doesn't think the masks he makes are sexy, and she doesn't have a problem telling him as much. But the fact that they're friends who work together and otherwise support each other does not change that. 3. His job was to be a mediator while Uta was living in the fourth ward, effectively keeping the ghouls in the area in line and keeping everyone from murdering each other. For a young ghoul, this is a pretty amazing job, and it also says a lot about Uta. His easygoing attitude and the way he doesn't let other individuals rile him up makes him a perfect person to do this kind of job. 2. When they both lived in the fourth ward, where Uta worked as a mediator, Renji Yomo and Uta met. Yomo went on a spree, cannibalizing a lot of ghouls, and Uta was given the task of stopping him. 
Their relationship started with them struggling in this divisive way, but Uta found Yomo intriguing and eventually wanted to learn more about him. Both are good friends, and while they don't always agree with each other on their decisions, they always respect each other. 1. Uta has a shape-shift capability. Mostly, he uses this ability to imitate others' facial expressions, and he can make himself sound like someone else as well. He can change his face sometimes, but not his hair, and sometimes he can make his whole appearance entirely different. The curious thing is that no one really understands why he has this talent, or what it is about him that allows him to do it. It's a mystical force never described before. 